Hey there, welcome back to the final part of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way. I hope you found inspiration in our guest journey this week. Today, we'll leave you with some key takeaways and actionable insights that you can lean on. Now let's wrap up with some powerful lessons that can help guide you on your own path. Don't forget to tune in for a brand new guest next week on Monday. But for now, enjoy this week's. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't already as well. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. And when you're ready, I want you to come back into the room. Don't open your eyes yet. I want you to float back into your body. I want you to start wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. <laughs> oh my lord. I had my eyes closed for a very long time. I just looked at the timer. It doesn't feel long when you're in there, does it? No. It's, if I was doing it in my head, it's probably like 25 minutes. Yeah. It's a lot, an hour and 12. <laughs> I'll give or take anyway. Yeah. In time and space, it doesn't really exist. No, it doesn't. No, it did not feel like that at all. Yeah. I'm very surprised. Yeah. How do you feel, man? How's your head? <laughs> There's nothing in there. <laughs> Is it quiet? It actually is. Yeah. I don't think how long been... has it how long has it ever been quiet before? Oh, I should maybe meditate for an hour every day. <laughs> no, it's Does it feel like you've had a party in your head and now everyone's left? Mate, it's bizarre. Yeah. That's, that's actually a really good way of saying it. I'm actually yeah. really quite, I feel a little bit confused what I've just done. <laughs> no, honestly, a bit skeptical. I was always skeptical, mate, to be fair. Of course you would be. That's, that's natural. Yeah. No, very skeptical. And the best ones that I love working with because then they come out like this. Yeah. There was a part where I was talking actually inside, um, I watered up. And I was hoping it wasn't going to drip out. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it didn't. Luckily, the inside yeah. of my lids kind of uh, <laughs> held it in. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. Actually, it's weird. It's really very weird. For those that are for those that are at home, what are you what are you feeling, or what's 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 it like for you? Are you asking that to me? Yeah. I don't forgot what my job is right now. <laughs> no, genuinely, I'm not I'm actually. Want to go pilot and take over because yeah, you're, you're just to. spaced out. Yeah, yeah, I think you're gonna have to. Can you repeat that again? Say that again. I was just saying for those that are at home, wondering what the hell or what you're going through. Tell them what you're feeling. I'm feeling spacious. Mm. Is that a good way to say it? I'm feeling spacious. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's lumps and clumps been removed from inside my head. Yeah. And it feels like there's cotton wool at the edges. And it feels like the space to move and hit the sides with safety. Does that make sense? It does to me because I know what you're saying. <laughs> People are thinking, what, what is this guy um, taken? He's taken some, something, but no, we're, we're in, we're in different rooms. We're not, he hasn't taken anything. And this is the power <laughs> of neuroplasticity, neuroscience. This is the power yeah, of the box I mean, method. Yeah, man. We should, you should put something in a neuroplasticity book, mate, because that is, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to, I hope my explanation makes sense to 
I know it does to you, but to everybody else. Are you, you... feeling? Are you feeling more peaceful? Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. So that so that so that racy mind. Mm. So let me just give you like what my experience was. Yeah, I always grew up thinking that I had, and I probably did. Right, had I had the symptoms of of ADHD. I couldn't concentrate. Mm-hmm. And when I had this happen to me, all of a sudden, I could concentrate. Mm. I could think clearer. Mm. So was it this, there were real symptoms of ADHD, but below that, that, I mean, like that's the label, below that, for me, there was a lot of fear. Yeah. So my brain was racing, looking for safety constantly. Mm. It was busy. Now that I was able to switch that off, I could concentrate better. So apart from, you know, foods uh, and, and, and things like that, that can contribute to ADHD. Do you think Yeah, this could benefit? It's all, it's all contribution. Yeah. 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 Like it's all piece of the puzzle. Like mm. when you're making a cake, like ADHD is a cake, yeah. right? You've got flour, you've got eggs, you've got butter, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Mm. If you've got, if you remove the fear, but if you're still eating crap food, yeah, it's like, it's not going to be as bad, but it's still going to come up. Yeah. But it's less now that you've resolved it through hypnotherapy. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It, so it, it's, a com- it, it's a combination of everything. It's like one of the guests on, I keep referencing with you, because that's where I met you, but Dara, the CEO, and the guy talks yeah. about, even if you have toxin A and antidote B, it still equals death. So in this sense, yeah. it could be toxin A, meaning the trauma uh, uh, of the mind racing, but good food yes. going in, but it still equals ADHD. You've got a, it's yes. a unity that you need to work on. So yes. the food and kind of what you said. Yes, it's all, it's everything. Whatever you bring into your body, hmm. whether it's food or thoughts. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah, yeah. If mm. it's toxic, it's toxic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Powerful stuff, man. Yeah, powerful. So is this what you do? Is what you've just done with me today? Is that what you do on a daily basis? Yeah, this is what I do. So people come to me with all sorts of things they've seen. Like I see the hard cases. I see like people that have said, hey, Karim, I've got chronic uh, PTSD. You know, I've been to psychologists, I've been to this hypnotherapist, nothing works. Um, hence why I went and shot that documentary with, with one of the farmers in South Australia because they were going through a rough time mm. with their trauma. Um, even though I don't yeah. position myself as a trauma coach, um, it's more around performance now. Yeah. But, um, yeah, P- people in in performance – performance roles have racy minds yeah you see it everywhere yeah right because they're high achievers um but they want that edge and i'll help them get give them that edge through eliminating the old hardware that old clumps that you that you said that you felt and now yeah. it's f- filled with cotton <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that was the best one to use but I don't know. It fit, yeah. I don't even know if that's in there. I think I keep reflecting on it. I don't know if that is in there, but it does feel, it feels empty, but a good empty. Yes. If that makes sense. Yes. Peaceful. Oh, so. Yeah. So this is, so this is what I do. So people are like, dude, you just like, some people come out of this and they're like, dude, you just fucked me up, man. Sorry to use my language, no, but they're you, like, you're allowed to do that on here. Don't worry. No, you have to. Like, it, it, yeah, man. I feel like I can't function on the podcast right now. You fucked me up for the rest <laughs> of the episode. <laughs> what your brain is doing is it's thinking, what the hell just happened? I've just gone from racing around a million miles an hour. Now the train has stopped. Mm. I don't know what to make sense of this. It's yeah. unusual for you. No, it is. No, it yeah. really genuinely is. I don't know if you can tell about that about me. No, I know what you're going through. Yeah. This is this is totally normal. Okay. Yeah. 
had two questions then, and I've gone blank. Damn, it's your fault, you bastard. <laughs> but this I is... I think what my question was. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm so confused. Um... So apart from the trauma example you just shared with the farmers, can you give yeah. us, um, before we, we close it down, can you give mm -hmm. us an example? Obviously I know you, you can't say names and, and the industry. I don't want you to do that. Yeah. Can you give us an example of someone in a performance role, as you mentioned, and an, an, an example of what their blockages were, and then maybe the result of that. I can only give you ones that obviously have, um, <laughs> been kind enough to you know give public testimonials and all those kinds of things sure because i'll because I'll, i work with a lot of these high performers that and they want to remain anonymous but one of the biggest high performers that i've worked with uh was you know he was placed in 30 under 30 forbes magazine nick bell all right um he's been on the news recently because he's wanting to stay young he's done a lot of gene therapy yeah, oh, yeah. So uh, he's wanting to hack his body to, um, to stay young. Longevity. Longevity. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that he's wanting to do is erase the stress from his head. That will help. And he chose to work with me. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So he, we worked together. Um, yeah, and he left. He left me a very kind and lovely testimonial. Oh. Um, and then he went off to Mexico to continue his gene therapy for reducing his, um, stress and to live longer. So I was part of, I was part of that for him. Um, yeah, that's amazing. That's yeah. That, that, I mean, that's a whole different podcast episode, but that fascinates me, that type of thing as well. And he, it's again, Diary the CEO is that, that guest he's had on there. I don't even listen to that episode where he talks and I've forgotten his name, but he talks about him living, living essentially forever, but over yes. 200 years. Similar to him. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. Yeah. Is it similar? Similar, to... similar. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think he's going through a similar journey. I mean, that's high. That's, that's high intense. You know, yeah. that's completely not even the next level. That's a million levels up, isn't it? I, I don't know. If, I mean, there's never one in history that's still alive. That's been around forever. So I do believe we're going to die. I just think we can make it longer. We can make it better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and not have to rely on anything keeping us alive. And if, if this is part of the process to live as help us live a, a bit of a longer life and healthy one with a clear mind, everybody yeah. should be doing it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> okay. That's what <laughs> has just come to me. My question that has just come to me. Yes. It's found its way back to my prefrontal cortex. Um, what's the advice now you've given this to me? What's the yes. advice? Um, you know, like if you, if I'm seeing a physiotherapy and they give me something and some exercises to go home and mm -hmm. continue to do before I come back to you, um, yeah. if that was the case for us, what would be the advice now for maybe the next few weeks or days or hours or even tonight? I don't know. You know the process. Oh. You know your business process. What, what, what would it be for me to yeah, go forward now with this after this tonight? To be honest, the good thing about what we do, it's not like – I've just rewired your brain. There's nothing more for you to do other than okay. for you just to enjoy your life in this new yeah. reality. <laughs> like after we switch off from here, your world is totally different. Information and perception of the world is totally different from now on for the rest of your life. So I don't need a refresh? Um, possibly later down the road, like, but it's going to be, it's never going to be the same as what it was. Sure. Like, um, your perceived information of what you're getting is going to be totally different now because you're no longer seeing from that old filter mm. of that 15 year old. Yeah. You're seeing it from a new filter. Like you've just upgraded your iOS as an example, right? Your information system. Yeah. So whether you're communicating with your wife, whether you're communicating with your kids, it's going to be from a different level. Yeah. And you're going to notice it. Okay. Having conversations with everyone, 
um, your work, your career, everything, everything now seems different. So there's nothing more for you to do other than just live in love and just appreciate this thing that you've got now. Yeah. I love that. That's yeah. awesome. There's nothing more for you to do. Just love yourself, love life, experience it. But you're also going to see it. You're not going to know that you're doing it. You're going to see different perceptions of life, yeah. different perspectives. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, that's powerful. Um, if um, I'm going to leave all your details, if anyone wants to book anything with you and, and scare the living daylights out of everything there. No, no, it was very therapeutic, man. And genuinely, genuinely, genuinely mean it. I, uh, I've never been so blank in my mind. It's, um, um, thank you for today. Um, hey, no worries. I probably but I needed to ask you. Yeah. So at yeah. the start of the session, I said, hey, Andrew, mm -hmm. earlier on, um, you gave me six events. I did. <laughs> now that you're thinking about those six events, is fear there or is it gone now? I can't even think. I can't even think what the six <laughs> events I told you, mate. That's what I said because people usually forget. They're like, "Man, I don't even. I don't remember that I even made those six events." I, I mean, look. If I sit down here, I'll probably be able to dissect it. But yeah, thinking off the cuff, man, I can't even think what I told you. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good. That's really good, mate. Now, and there's physical evidence here. Uh, people to, <laughs> you know, get in contact with him if it's you know. <laughs> The Karim Boxwell method is right here in the show notes. I think everyone's going to contact you if we, if, oh my God, they've seen it, haven't they? I mean, I'm not an actor. I cannot act to save my life. So I'm not acting. These, I've just never been so blase in my life. And, and, and I think anyone that does know me who's watching this will know. Yeah. Wow. It's got nothing to say. <laughs> Mate, that's awesome. Um, I'd probably, there's another area I do want to actually touch base with you. And I probably should talk to you after we start recording. But um, a massive part for me is, and I did bring it up in the episode, and I, and I probably should have said it before, but that word guilt, it, it is an underlining issue for me. Uh, yeah. I, I hope it's been fixed with what we've just done. Um, but maybe if I, it hasn't, it's fine. We can come back and revisit it. As you can see yeah. how powerful fear was. Yeah. Guilt is one of the heaviest emotions we carry. Yeah, mm. it's sorry. Just oh, you there? Sorry, you cut off then slightly. Sorry there, mate. That's okay. Um, the internet kind of cut off. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm not editing. I'm not editing that one out, guys. I'm going to keep this real. <laughs> um, I think guilt for me being here. I feel guilty being here. I'll openly admit that online and be vulnerable. Uh, there's a lot of things I didn't want to say because I didn't want. You know, I don't want people to be upset from my pain, but it's still me, my pain, right? And I'm just trying to be open and honest. And when you say here, you mean in Australia? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't mean in life. I'm not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did go through. I did go through those thoughts, which I've been very open in the last two years about. Um, yeah. When I went through a difficult time about nine years ago, I didn't want mm -hmm. to be here, and I don't necessarily mean in Australia, but now I do feel I have felt guilty being here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's why is that i'm a mum for sure okay yeah mm -hmm. yeah no i feel guilty on her mm -hmm. uh, more than anything else um i know i know it gives her pain mm -hmm. um but at the same time i have to you know think of everything else here as well and it's just not that easy to up and lift a family away from what they know and it is their home it is my home but yeah that's i don't you know I'll, I'll, I won't go into deep on, on air with that because I don't want to hurt her. But yeah, that's definitely guilt for sure. I live mm -hmm. every day with that. And I have done since the day I arrived. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, let's, let's, we'll talk to you. I'll talk to you on off air of, uh, briefly, but um, <laughs> um, so I'm going to, I'm going to stop the episode because it's probably waffling now um, <laughs> to everybody. Um, but it's good for everybody to see as well, I suppose. But uh, yeah. Karim, once again, you, you are my first guest where we've done a two-part episode. So I appreciate you coming back and giving up your time away from your lovely wife and um, uh, and doing your thing with me on air. But it, what amazing episode, amazing for me. I hope people are going to get, again, something out of seeing me go be vulnerable and be weird. 
<laughs> crazy. And- yeah, I, I actually want to say thank you for allowing yourself, others, others to see, and, you know, yourself to be vulnerable and for you to share. Oh. Um, yeah, so thank you, man. No. Especially as a male, so thank you. It's a shame that you have to say say that, isn't it? But you, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. No, mm. you're right. Mm. Mate, thank you so much. And um, um, you're welcome back on Leading Our Own Way anytime. We'll touch base <laughs> again in the future, maybe do a third episode and see where it's gone for you, maybe. I'm sure people would like to see where you're up to. And um, But follow him on social media. Put everything in the show notes. Um, it's always fascinating to see with the new posts coming up every day. And um, I'm always there to comment or give you a like and share where possible. So happy to spread the love. We're, we're on separate journeys, but I'm glad we met at Diary of the CEO. Stephen Bartlett brought us together, brother. <laughs> Same, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you again for today. And um, for everybody else, we'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks for listening and watching Leading Our Own Way. So we can stay together forever and share more incredible journeys, please subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss next week's episode and what that amazing guest has to offer to the world. Please support Leading Our Own Way and we'll get you on next week's episode.